In this video, we're going to review five GitHub profiles so you can see how other people are doing it. This is a variety of people that I've picked so you can see different kind of ideas and styles and then you can pick what works for you. So I have got my trusty Mona with me. So Mona is going to be watching these profiles as well. So thank you so much GitHub for this swag. This is brilliant. Back to this. Okay, so first up we have Carl. And Carl is lead developer on a couple of our Eddie Hub projects, a maintainer and a mod as well. And their profile is really, what's the word, really clean. I really, really like it. It's great that they've just got that kind of, this is a minimalistic profile. I don't know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But I do really like it. Mine's quite different, but I still appreciate and like this. This is great. I really like that it has their cartoon character and it has two different styles, right? It's not the same kind of image, photo or character in the profile picture on the top left, as well as the main customized GitHub profile. And you need to really customize your GitHub profile. So I'm kind of going to show you how people do it. But you might be thinking, Eddie, why do I need to do it? Well, you need to do it so you can stand out. Not everyone has it customized. But also, oh, the light is changing. It is, it is definitely changing. It's going to pink here, but it's quite bright. So you might not see it. What was I saying? Lots of people are customizing their profile, but lots of people aren't. So most people aren't. So you're going to stand out straight away by customizing it. But when you do customize it, you still stand out because it's going to be customized. It's going to be unique to you. And that way, when people see it, you're going to, they're going to remember you more. And I think that's really important because hiring managers or other community members are going to see lots of GitHub profiles. So if you've customized it, you're going to stand out. And by customizing it, also, they're going to more likely remember you. But let's just carry on and see. And you can see they've got some achievements, which I think is really nice on the profiles. And they belong to a few organizations. Not too many. I see people with maybe 30, you know, 20, 30 organizations. That's too many. You cannot be active in that many organizations. So it's important to pick the ones that you want to display. And you might be belong to other ones, but you should really hide those off your profile. And having four pinned repos, I think is a really good number. And look at all those green squares. And if you didn't know, Carl also got their role at Gitpod, an open source company, because of the open source contributions. And, and you can too. And I love this diamond graph underneath. Like it shows where people invest kind of their, their energy and time. And it's never going to be perfect, but it's important to have an approximate balance, like a kind of rough balance. Uh, and this looks really balanced to me. So this is awesome. So well done, Carl. I really like your profile. And remember, everyone, you can keep tweaking your profile. You don't have to get it right first time. I don't think I got mine right. Like, 10th time. And then next up, we have Emma, uh, another mod and maintainer on Eddie Hub community. And Emma has her own community focusing on accessibility as well, but has a profile picture of them. And I really like this. I think this is important for people to have a profile picture, right? We're humans, right? We want to see another person. It's something that we can kind of relate to. It seems more personal. But if you don't want to, that's also fine. I just think it kind of gives you a little bit of a, a, an edge. I'm not following Emma. Let me fix that now, right? following Emma now. Again, a very clean and minimalistic profile with some links and YouTube channel. Emma, I always struggle to find your YouTube channel. So I'm really glad that you've got this here now. Again, I think this looks really clean. Some achievements, some organizations. And this is Emma's organization here as well. Accessibility. Six pinned repos. I prefer four. But the thing is, when you have a really small customized GitHub profile, you can afford to have six. That's not so much of an issue. But when someone has a customized repo, say that's like three pages long and have six pinned repos, it's just all way too much. People aren't going to read that. Lots of code reviews there. I really like that. I like to see slightly code review heavy. Like if someone had to be heavier on one of these kind of four corners, I would say code review is the most important one because it shows that you can collaborate and give feedback to other people. And then I'll go have a look and see actually how did you collaborate with those people. And that's what I'll do when hiring for my clients. Again, another great profile here, another great example. And again, it looks different. And so you can like take ideas from what you like and what you want to do to yours. And once you've customized yours, you can improve it further over time. So next we've got Naomi, again, another maintainer and mod on the Eddie Hub community. So this is like mine. Mine's a bit bigger like this. It's just over a page. It's great to see their achievements. And also they belong to a few more organizations. Obviously everyone here has got Eddie Hub, which is great. If you haven't joined yet, do join our Eddie Hub organization. Come and geek out with us. But again, it's not too many. So I think this is really, really good. I like how they've broken it down into different sections. I think there might be a missing image there. So if anyone wants a green square, you can go raise an issue 
and you could also raise a pull request and fix it. There's a link to all these repos in the description below. And Naomi has a lot of green squares and a lot of code reviews as well, so that's really, really good. And not so many issues. I know Naomi does so many contributions to, to their projects and others, so um, it can be weighted quite a bit with those kind of 10,000 uh, contributions. It can get weighted quite easily as well, but it, it's great to see um, another really good profile here and also have links to like Emma had to YouTube and, and Carl had to Twitter and Naomi has got to um, to LinkedIn and it's great to great to see that make it easy for people to discover you on other platforms your github profiles you kind of be your website your portfolio so people can go find your YouTube your Twitter your LinkedIn etc they can get an idea of what you're about and then they can go and have a look at you on other social platforms I think is super important. Another thing that I really like that actually I didn't check the, the other two, let's have a look. So you can see uh, Carl is in Germany, Emma is in Sweden, and Naomi's in Washington. And why is this important? Because it helps with time zones. So when best to contact someone, when best to kind of be patient and wait because you know they're in a different time zone to you. So it might be daytime for you, but it might be nighttime for them. So again, I really love the, the location. It really, really helps. Next up, we have uh, Tom, also known as Schmelto on most social platforms, who reviews so many of your pull requests uh, on the Eddie Hub community. So yeah, an Eddie Hub maintainer uh, and a mod, I think as well. Well, that's interesting. How do you get that, Tom? Tom knows all the coolest tricks everywhere, but that's interesting. They say one hour ahead. So I, I, I need to figure out how you get that. That's pretty cool. I want that on my profile. So again, you've got that kind of making it easier for the person. It tells them they're one hour ahead of me and, and Tom's in Germany. So I know they're one hour ahead. So it's just great to see that. So it's easy for me to work out here, but in other cases when they're in um, time zones that I'm not aware of or a lot kind of further away this is super super helpful so i need to see how to put that in my profile um so that's really really interesting if, if you figure out how leave a comment below but i'm gonna after this video have a quick look at my profile and see if i can do that again achievements belong to a couple of organizations lots of green squares uh, and again still got that diamond right none of them are zero you don't really want zero on any of these i think that starts to ring a few alarm bells but again really nice profile they've got code in their profile which i think looks really good but it's not like massive it's not too complicated someone doesn't have to spend ages trying to figure out what's going on but that's um really really good and unique and this always catches me out every time i always think what is that i forget and i think that's quite funny because it makes you think about what is that and also then afterwards when you kind of leave the the person's profile you kind of you know, remember it. You think, oh, what was that? And next time I meet this person or chat to this person, I'm going to ask. So it's kind of like a conversational piece icebreaker. I think that's uh, really, really awesome. And you can see these badges along the bottom, really well organized, centered, and I can get to their other social platforms really easily. And next up, we have Tamal, who is um, a mod on the Eddie Hub community and probably a maintainer as well. I can't keep up. You're all doing so many awesome things in the community. I'm so sorry. You're all just awesome. I'm just going to put that out there. But I really like this uh, profile picture. It's kind of like an action profile picture. I think it's quite cool. Again, I want to remember it, right? They're holding a mic. I'm going to remember that. Has everyone got this time thing apart from me? So they're four and a half hours ahead. I think that is amazing. I think it's great. I need to get this on mine and you need to get it on yours as well. Again, Organizations approaching two uh, rows, I would say that should be the absolute maximum. Um, I think one looks really kind of between half a row and one row probably looks the, the cleanest in, in my opinion, but two rows isn't so bad either. But I like this uh, this banner as well. It looks really good. It's, it straight away says, you know, what they're, they're about. Um, you've got their social links and another banner at the bottom. I haven't usually seen another banner at the bottom, but again, it's being different, right? You want to try and be a little bit different. You don't want to follow everybody. And if we come down to here, you can see a lot of contributions, a triangle-ish, nothing's at zero, which I think is super important. You know, the lowest one is around 10, which is 10%, which is really good. Hopefully that helps you, but you're probably thinking, Eddie, how does your profile compare? My, mine is probably the worst. That's why I didn't bring up my profile because mine probably doesn't look very good. This banner obviously looks good. I didn't make it. The community made it for me. So thank you all so much. But again, I probably need to work on my uh, GitHub profile. Any suggestions and tips really appreciated. Again, these organizations, um, they won't appear when you look at my profile in from your point of view because I'm logged in. It's showing me everything. I think I've got to get rid of some of these. There were ones created years ago and never nothing ever happened with them. But you can see I've got two pinned. Actually, I probably should pin two more. We've got some really awesome Eddie Hub projects I like to pin. And yeah, you can see mine is not, look, 7% is my lowest one. I need to get that up to, to 10%. I think that's a bit healthier. But yeah, 
all profiles can be improved and by looking at them is how you can improve them. looking at other people's get ideas get people to look at yours get feedback from other people i think that's really important yeah we'll all get better together and we'll all grow together i do live streams reviewing your github profiles and open source projects so feel free to submit that to the eddie hub support repo this is the eddie hub support repo if you then go to issues you can then go to new issue and you can pick the relevant one. Is it a GitHub profile review? Is it your GitHub sponsors uh, review? You can get an invitation to our GitHub organization if you want to join, which I highly recommend. So you can submit an issue here with a link to your profile or your project or your Twitter profile and we'll review it on a live stream and give it a shout out. But even before that happens, because the, the list is quite long, the community members of Eddie Hub will go give their feedback. They are super awesome. Go collaborate with them, grow your network, and we can all succeed together. Let's chat between live streams and videos in the Eddie Hub Discord. Link in the description below.